Hi guys, Sean from Stray Angel here, and today I'm going to show you the Movi M10 stabilizer. Now, what the stabilizer does is it stabilizes the camera in its tilt, its yaw, and its roll axes. And you can use it in a single operator or a dual operator mode. The dual operator mode involves one person actually carrying the rig and translating it through space, while another person controls the rig remotely via controller. So you can see here, I have the full ability to do pans and tilts, and you can change your sensitivities and horizons and all of that here. And we have a uh, wireless IDX video system here to transmit the video up to about 200 feet. The other way to do it as a single operator is called majestic mode. And I'm going to switch the camera here to majestic mode, and it'll automatically zero the uh, camera's position out. And now when I pick it up, it'll feel when I'm doing uh, pan or tilt inputs, and it'll put them in there. There's a little bit of a lag involved, so it requires anticipation in order to do the movements, but that's part of the learning process. So the other main stabilizer that you have to choose from is the Steadicam. Now, the learning curve is not nearly as bad, but there are some things that you have to be aware of. For example, with the Movi, you still have to balance it properly. And to do that, you have to adjust several different axes of balance. And I'm going to turn the stabilizer off for a moment so you can take a look at and, uh, and see, see how the balance works here. So you have tilt balance, which is forward and backward like this, on two different axes. You can slide this plate forward and backward, and you can also slide the entire platform here up and down. And basically the idea is, with your fore and aft adjustment, you want to get it so that the camera sits still when you let go of it at neutral orientation. So you have two basic adjustments for tilt stabilization. You have fore and aft, which you use to set the camera so that when it's sitting at zero orientation, it just stays pretty much right there. The problem that you run into if you only do that is that when you're tilting the camera up or if you're tilting the camera down, it might go out of balance because the weight is shifting in relation to the axis. That's what you use this vertical platform here or this horizontal platform, I should say here. You move it up and down so that when you're pointing up, you're still relatively in balance. Then when you tilt down, you want it to stay relatively in balance. And it's okay for there to be a little bit of play in there because all of these motors in the Movi are gonna help you get the balance perfect once you turn it on, which is something that this has an advantage over the Steadicam. The Steadicam, you have to spend hours getting the balance exactly right, whereas the Movi, you're looking more to get it into a window that the motors can then compensate for. So the next axis that you want to balance is the roll axis, which is basically the left right, you know, like a, like a tripod leveling the bubble on it. Um, you can, again, use two different controls to get this roll correct. You can actually slide this platform here, left and right, or you could slide the entire arm here on the back of the camera, left and right. So as you can imagine, this is for major adjustments for, say, using different camera systems or a different accessory setup, while up here on the front is the more minute adjustment where you work everything in just right. Okay, so the next axis that we have to balance is the pan axis. And you check it in two different places. The first place you check is in line with the handle arm. And all you got to do is just rotate the arm gently and see if it drifts in any direction. If it stays in line with the arm, it's properly balanced. The second place you check is in line with the handle. Same thing, rotate it gently, see if it drifts in any direction. If not, it's properly balanced. So you have all of those visual cues to tell you whether or not the camera is properly balanced. But if you want to find out for sure how close you are to a perfect balance, you can use the FreeFly configurator. And that is basically, it's an Android app, it's an iOS app, it's available on the PC, however you want to take it. So basically, in the FreeFly configurator, you can see how much energy each of the motors is expending to keep the camera in place. The closer you are to zero with all of the motors, the better balance you have. The FreeFly configurator also lets you do other things. You can set sensitivity settings, smoothing settings, all kinds of different things for both majestic mode and the dual operator remote mode. So as you can see, balancing the actual camera is a little bit easier than it would be on a steady cam. Where you lose a little bit is that you don't have a lot of space to do the balance. You've only got a couple inches of clearance in the best case scenario, forward and aft and left and right. 
So as you can see on this camera, we've already got some third party stuff working here to, you know, to make things work a little bit better because especially with an Epic, it's so heavy. And when you bring the batteries onto the back with lenses on the front, you end up not having a lot of space in order to do your tilt balance. Same thing if you have a, a side handle and other things hanging off the side, you can't do left and right. So what we've got here is a plate that attaches to the side of the RED camera and allows you to put a full V-Lock battery onto the camera without uh, restricting your forward and aft balancing capabilities. The real advantage of the side plate is that it's now the much better of three options. Before, you could have had a side handle on the camera running red volts, which as we know, do not last very long and can be very troublesome to keep up with on set. The other option that you had before this plate came out was mounting a battery up on the top handlebar and running a cable down to the camera. Now, as you can see, that handlebar is not supposed to move around when you're operating the camera and you run into a lot of pinch zones, which can be very frustrating. What we like to do is to try and keep only one cable coming off the camera at any time. In this case, it's an HDMI cable going to our operator monitor and our wireless transmitter. It was very, very annoying to have to have a big power cable running down off the top handle and into the camera. So this solves that problem and actually makes things a lot better because it balances the weight of the battery in line with the tilt on the center of gravity for the camera. So you don't have to make as many adjustments anymore because there's more mass in the center than there was forward and aft. Another little upgrade that we've made to the Movi that makes things a lot easier is we've added a lightweight 15 millimeter rod uh, clamp on the bottom of the mounting plate for the camera. Before we got this, we had to be putting a base plate underneath the camera in order to get rods off and in, or in order to do a wireless follow focus. This attaches directly to the mounting plate and really saves not only a lot of space, but a lot of weight and clearance. Especially with taller cameras like a C300, you would find yourself touching the top before you were able to get everything put together properly with a standard base plate. So that saves you a lot of time and a lot of worry on set. So the last piece that we have in the movie kit that really makes it work nicely is the Freefly Ninja Plate. What this plate does is it replaces the standard handlebar on top of the Movi right here and allows you through what is essentially a cheese plate, it allows you to mount it to any kind of jib or steady cam or other articulating arm that you want to use on set. So this essentially becomes a remote head on a jib or you can attach it to a steady cam so you can get vertical stability in addition to all of your different roll axes. So we've been using the Movi ourselves now for a few months and we've put together a package that we really think is rock solid. You have the entire Movi kit here. It comes with four batteries that last anywhere from three to four hours on set. We also include the, uh, the 15 millimeter lightweight rod adapter along with the Ninja plate. And if you're using a RED camera, we'll also give you the side mount battery plate. You also get the transmitter, the DX7 uh, controller along with a uh, TX tray that it sits in and a back harness so you can actually wear the tray without holding it with your hands and follow along as the movie's moving over a long distance. Uh, with that, you get a, uh, two of these monitors, one for the operator, one for follow focus or director or what have you, and they're all linked through the IDX wireless video system, which in our opinion and our experience is the least problematic and easiest to use wireless video available right now. All of our monitors run off of LP6 batteries, the Canon brand. We can supply other batteries and adapters if it's necessary, but we also give you plenty of batteries to work with. You also get an Android tablet that has the FreeFly configurator on it and it's pre-linked to the Movi, so you can basically plug and play and immediately adjust your settings and do whatever you need to do with that. Um, in the rest of the kit, we have a bunch of different HDMI cables, USB cables, chargers and adapters that help you get everything up and running in the specific configuration that you're going to need for your shoot. And we've, every single cable and every single tie off and everything that's in the kit, we've personally tested to make sure that it works properly and efficiently on set. So if you're interested in using our Movi kit, we rent it locally and we ship it nationally. So no matter where you are or what your project entails, we're here to help you. Thank you for taking the time to watch this Movi video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment or call us or even come into the store if you want to play with the equipment. We love setting it up and we'd be happy to do that for you if you want to get a feel for the Movi stabilizer. I'm Sean from Stray Angel and thanks for watching.